welcome to our I'm Kirby, and this time we're going to be playing another uh, episode of Warks Seven. Making the okay. My apologies for the quality of the transmission. I'm contacting you on an encrypted frequency. I'm working on an important covert mission, and I could use your assistance. I can't go into the details over comms, but you should know, if we pull this off, it could change the course of the hurt conflict in our favor. Meet with me on Deep Space Nine to go over the details. Come along. I've been asked to keep the details of the mission on a need-to-know basis, and right now, only you and I need to know. Okay, and we'll get our experience points. I'm just white. Uh, gamma quadrant location. Gamma quadrant Iconian gateway location. Okay. Uh, some gold pressed latinum. Dilithium ore. Lex throwing knives. Plasma sniper rifle or polaron auto rifle X throwing knife good luck yeah good luck luck okay In forks. No. Absolutely not. This is your worst idea yet. Do I need to remind you of the unwritten rule of acquisition, brother? Rule zero. What the Nagus wants, we acquire. Why me? Get an eliminator to do it. Get 50. You can afford it. You have connections with the Klingons. That and your Rom's second most trusted Ferengi. What? Who's first? Knock? Pell? No. Moogie. Fine. Send her then. But brother, you did such a great job of rescuing her before. I also told your son to shoot me if I ever thought of doing something like that again. Mm, that's right, you did. Well, don't worry, he won't. That's not what I'm worried about. <laughs> we need this, brother. We can't hold off the Herc forever. Alliance forces are spread too thin to help, Quark. We need the Klingons, brother, otherwise we're doomed. Insanity! You don't even know where the Iconian fleet is, Rom. I don't. But Starfleet Intelligence monitors all major threats, including the Iconians. Starfleet isn't in the habit of sharing classified data. If we can get access to a security console, we can extract the data. We'll need to keep the security officer on duty occupied. <laughs> Leave that to me, husband. Next day. Ida. All right, Lita. The security officer on duty is a creature of habit. Comes in on her break every day without fail. Your job is to keep her occupied so Rom can get what we need from the security console. Do what you need to do. Smile, laugh at her jokes, whatever it takes. Put those feminine wiles of yours to good use. Feminine wiles? 
Really, Quark? I'm not here to seduce your customers. You and I both know there's more than one way to work a mark. Whatever you say, just don't mess it up. She'll be here any minute now. Continue. You worry too much, Quark. I got this. There she is. It's your lucky day, officer. You're the 10 millionth customer here at Quark's. Congratulations! You've just won a free drink and a free spin at the Davo table. Quark, why don't you pour the lucky winner a drink? What'll it be, Constable? Oh, oh. thanks. I'll take a nice track to Gino. Uh, I'm on duty. I can't stay too long, but I suppose I have enough time for a spin at the table. Lead the way. Hmm, I wonder if any relation to Intro Laren. Quark, will you turn that hollow me off, please? It's creeping me out. What now? This is why I like the hollow leader. She doesn't complain as much as the original. There. Happy? Yes. Thank you, Quark. The free drink will get her to relax. And then some Dabo to keep her busy. One loss to remove suspicion. Oh, looks like my luck's run out. Oh well. Thanks for the drink and the spin. Better get back to my station. Wait! Whoa, 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 don't be so hasty, friend. The law of averages is on your side here. Trust me. Have another spin on the house. What have you got to lose? Continue. Okay, you've convinced me. One more spin. Why not? Run a rig dub again. Okay. And then a victory to reel her in. Nicely done. Uh, those winnings are coming out of your cut, though. Good. The guard's distracted. Time to go to work. Overriding this door panel should be child's play. This is the most secret maintenance panel. Chief O'Brien needed me to fix it once. Most secret maintenance panel? Okay, we're gonna so we are landing blue, green, and white right now. Blue and white. Here and there. So Once I'm in, I can install that the back was door. Easy. <laughs> then we can access the system from the console at Quark's. Am 
my glowies, okay. She's heading back, Rom. Get out of there! Oh. Relax, everyone. It's done. I'm on my way back. Try not to look conspicuous or guilty. Okay. Oh, they have, <laughs> they have the advertiser on the monitor. Can't believe you pulled that off. Being the Nagus hasn't made you go soft between the lobes. Let's figure this out before security gets wise. Use the console behind the bar and find out what you can about the Iconians. Oh, and while you're at it, look for any other useful information in there, too. Some of it could be valuable, you know. Okay. Relax, brother. I'll have these files cracked in no time. Starfleet encryption is good, but it's nothing compared to what we use in the Commerce Authority. That's actually difficult. Yay. Console. Intelligence officers log started eight eight zero three. The Phoebe 
sector, moving through deep space. She's keeping a low profile for the most part, avoiding conflict with both the Dominion and the Herc. Anything foolish enough to get in her sights doesn't live long enough to regret it, however. The wreckage of a Gamma pirate flotilla will testify to that. Hmm. What else we can find? Intelligence officers log Stardate 87961.3. Intermittent Borg activity in the quadrant. We've been able to track a Unimatrix vessel, and our countermeasures are keeping its fleet at bay. The recent escalation of the Herc conflict is straining the number of resources available for Borg surveillance. Sorry about that delay there. Let's try again. Intelligence Go. officers log start at 87983.1. Brain forces continue to harass the Teferi, though hostilities have not intensified as of late. The brain have made no overtures toward the Dominion since their recent return to the Alpha Quadrant. Looks like the honeymoon might be over at last. Intelligence officers log start at 88139.9. A large Fakiri fleet has been spotted in transit to the Gamma Quadrant. Analysis of their course suggests they're heading toward the renegade Iconian fleet. Interesting. If the two of them manage to eliminate each other, well, that'll be two less headaches to keep me up at night. Intelligence officers log, Stardate 89001.7. Major Herc activity throughout the four quadrants. As expected, Alliance forces are spread thin in attempts to protect critical sites in their own territory, as well as within the Dominion. The Klingons continue to stay out of it, with the exception of a token force of volunteers. Efforts to enlist the full aid of the Empire to date have faltered. Intelligence officers log Stardate 87997.9. I can't help but be impressed by the Nakul. Their star is all but dead. Their world's an ice ball, and they refuse to leave. They defend that ice ball against all comers, even the Herc. Every Nakul big enough to carry a phaser fought, and they actually won. And I thought Tellarites were stubborn. <laughs> Intelligence officers log Stardate 88006.2. There have been some recent Terran incursions from the Badlands, but nothing overly organized. As of now, there hasn't been any sight of Admiral Lita since her attack on DS9. Perhaps she has finally given up? <laughs> One can only hope. Intelligence officers log, Stardate 89101.1. Tholian web technology has worked well against the Herc so far. They had snared 70% of a Herc fleet shortly after it dropped out of warp. The rest of the fight was brief and one-sided. At least Tholian xenophobia is consistent. Our attempts to negotiate for web technology have been completely ignored. Intelligence officers log started 89001.7. Getting a lot of disturbing reports from Zen Cathy Space lately. Whispers of corruption in the highest ranks and talks of a coup are in the air on Zen Cath. The Autark's days might be numbered after his crusade failed. Though the arrival of the Herc has kept him on the throne for now. Right. All right, Rom, a deal is a deal. You found the Iconian, so I guess it's my turn now. Time to put the team together? Yes. And that's the job. Later. Confront. Where's Gala? Really? 
He shot the hostage last time. He's not invited. Brunt, your database skills should help us locate the package. Always happy to help, Grand Nagus. Retreat. Still a master of Rule 33. Aren't you, Brunt? It never hurts to suck up to the boss. Of course! I presume you'll need my ship again, yes? Not this time. We'll need a ship that can fight, just in case. And we'll have it, thanks to our friend here. Good. Everyone's here. Also, full consortium. Ugh, <laughs> unbelievable. The table's rigged. I'm sure of it. Here we are. And the cloaking device I, uh, I acquired from my cousin Gala is working like a charm. Keep an eye on it, though. I'd rather not attract the attention of the Iconians. Or the Fakiri, for that matter. Agreed. It looks like they're busy trying to blow each other to bits out there. Let's use that to our advantage. You see those Iconian sentry probes? They use those to detect cloaked ships. So, you'll want to disable them before we move much closer. This cloak is good, but it's not that good. Understood. Getting in's the easy part. We're cloaked and unexpected. should be enough to get to the flagship undetected. Well, we can all stop holding our breath now. It worked. If you'll be so kind as to fly us behind that massive Iconian ship, we'll be on our way. That. I'm looking forward to this. We made it. I can't believe I'm actually going to sneak onto an Iconian flagship and, uh, oof. Keep the engine running, okay? I have a feeling we're going to need to get out of here in a hurry. Your shuttle is prepped. Good luck. I've never been this close before. Impressive. Terrifying is more like it. This is insane. Or genius. <laughs> Nog, you're our engineer. Buy it 400 and sell it 5. It'll be up to you to disable the security systems, son. Right. I'm familiar with their tech from the war. I won't let you down, father. Evade. We're up first, Nog. We need to lower the local security so Brunt and Lek can do their jobs. No problem. I memorized the schematics for this vessel on the way here. There are engineering consoles we can use for that nearby. Follow me. Head left here, Nog. I've studied Iconian systems. I can unlock these doors. Ah, if I send good. in the appropriate signals to we'll the door, we'll have to disable security and engineering. Door locks. The good news is that my tricorder can get me the signal I need to send. The bad news is the Iconian systems only take trinary input. I think I see how the inputs work, so it shouldn't be too hard.
And we're done here. Okay. Heralds! Don't worry, I can handle them. Hold on, Uncle. Something's coming. That looks like more than we can handle. Let Lek take care of it. He'll probably enjoy it. Think I can lock the door behind once it's gone? Great idea. Uh, do that. Quickly! Head right here. And we're done. We've made it. This is main engineering. Security's offline. We're good to go. Can we drop their rear shield for a moment? From the other console? Why? You'll see. What's that, Uncle? Call it an insurance policy. Black, how do you feel about Iconian Heralds? Very dangerous. I look forward to shooting some. Sell it 250? Buy it 100. You'll get your chance clearing the path for Quark and Nog. The riskier the road, the greater the profit. I'm in. 
<laughs> Sending him after a herald. Leck, Brunt, you're on. Brunt, FCA. I'm on my way. The hunt is on. Ooh, they fight back. Good, good. Magnificent. Truly magnificent. It's looking this way between patrol points. I should be able to sneak up on it if I duck behind the wall. I bet I could make that console explode remotely.
There we go. Yeah. <laughs> the explosion I was looking for, but it'll do. <laughs> I found the package. The Iconian keeps it on display in what looks like a trophy room. And here I thought they were above such basic behavior. <laughs> I've analyzed their patrol patterns, Lek. You'll need a clear path for Quark and Nug. I trust you'll keep the guards in that area occupied for a suitable period of time. Of course. Testing my skills against Iconians? <laughs> this is worth more than latinum to me. Don't get your lobes bunched, Brunt. I'll clear the path for the others by any means necessary. And here we go. More enemies to the left, and another council. <laughs> Lord. What? Still no explosion? Ugh. Ridiculous. Inconceivable. If I make some noise, the big one will come to investigate. This isn't work. This is fun. He does have a point. This is fun. If I overload those conduits, I'm sure it'll make a big explosion. Doesn't anything blow up around here? <laughs> like the quark. The path is clear. Uh, doesn't anything blow up around I'm here? I'm detecting some nearby patrols. I want to see if I can cause a distraction. Hold on. Shot one kill. Playing Lek is a thrill. If I blow up that console, it'll cause a nice distraction. Nog, how do I overload these ridiculous Iconian consoles? Easy. First you need to... Wait. How are you at trinary conversions? Uh, never mind. I have a workaround. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Mother, you'll 
won't crack the safe. Once Brunt finds it, that is. Nice of you to give me the easy <laughs> job, Rom. By that point, Lech will have eliminated their guards. We're talking about Iconians here, Rom. I'll be with you, Uncle. You'll be fine. Oh, <laughs> I feel so much better now. Time for me to earn my share. Watch and learn. Don't worry, Uncle. I've got your back. You know, right. you were supposed to shoot me if I got pulled into another one of these. I thought you meant rescue operations. I can shoot you later if you'd like. No, <laughs> it just wouldn't be the same. What did he do here? Wanna know? Ha! I'm impressed. Uh, did the file? That's uh, one word for it. He left some guarding the trophy room. It's okay, Uncle. We can handle them. Let's find the package. It has to be in one of the display cases around the room. Amazing! That's a singularity! Tiket must have taken it from a Romulan warbird. You could say it was the heart of that ship. <laughs> must have been a memorable opponent for her to keep that on display like this. Keeps a black hole, huh? Is that part of an Iconia? Why would Tiket keep a severed body part? That's insane. Tiket lost her arm when she fought Kalis during the war. She's keeping it as a trophy or, or maybe a reminder of one of her few failures. I knew she was intense, but this is pretty ridiculous. No comment. X? That's a lot of latinum. Impressive. I could buy a Starliner with that and have enough left to buy a condo on Ryza. Probably not beachfront, but it'd be nice. It's FCA graded, too. She must have gotten it from a Ferengi. Oh, tough break. Seems only fitting that we acquire it. Fine. Mind on the mission. Stop looking at me like that.
looks like a secure treasure box. I wonder what's inside. It could be practically anything. Leave it to an Iconian to lock up a box of valuables and hoard it away. Well, not everyone is as good at opening locks as you, Uncle. Most people would need the appropriate key. <laughs> I've seen these statues on New Romulus. They were made by the Daywans, a servitor race of the Iconians. Not sure why Tiket would keep one of these on display. Maybe it's of a sentimental value to her, even if that's possible. Is that possible? E. Oh, well, find out. Okay, not this one. There. Package located. The Sword uh. of Chaos. Now, we need to retrieve it. Nope. Seeing these reminds me of the Dominion War. A lot of those were sent back home to loved ones. Starfleet, the Klingons, the Romulans, they all have their different rituals. Even the enemy cared for their dead. And they say you don't have a heart, Uncle. All right. It's too bad we don't have enough time to steal these and sell them back to the people who want them. 34th rule of acquisition, Nog. War is good for business. That's a bottle of prune juice. I'd recognize that color anywhere. Worf constantly demanded I have a bottle on hand at the bar. A warrior's drink, he called it. More like a torture drink. I tried some once. Let's just say that it was not a pleasant digestive experience. <laughs> what else do they have? Ah, you know, I always told the top brass at the Corps of Engineers that making the party poppers look like weapons was a bad idea. Any officer who uses one of those instead of a real weapon is in for a bad day. I suspect that's how Taket got her hand on one of these balloons. Shame. <laughs> Uncle, that looks like Captain Sisko's baseball. You don't think it's his, do you? I thought Jake took it with him. Uh, do you remember when Sisko made us play baseball against the Vulcans? Rom wouldn't stop talking about it for weeks. Put a bunch of money into that new interstellar league, too. Still can't believe he bought a professional team. The Ferenginar Liquidators. They're terrible. Got beat by the Cation Claws by a score of... 18 to 4, and they were cheating! <laughs> of course they were. Interesting. I read about these at the Academy. Something called NASA sent them out on crewed space probes centuries ago to initiate first contact with alien life. I believe this contains audio files, animal sounds, music, language samples. My Earth history instructor would love to get her hands on this. We should, uh, acquire it if we have the time. On the mission, Nog. Huh. 
Okay, so we now know everything that's in the room. And here we go. Okay. I can use this to bring the package from its display globe. I need to use the right frequencies, though. Enter the wrong one, and every alarm around will go off. The frequencies change periodically. Once I start this, I need to get them all, or I'll have to start over. I can just scan the machine for you. Should be easy enough to get the frequencies. Leave a report. You, of all people, should know that Federation tricorders record whatever they scan. Never leave a data trail. We'll do this the Ferengi way. It'll take someone with the lobes for the job. That's me. Nicely done, Uncle! We did it! We actually did it! We shouldn't stick around, though. Let's head back to the shuttle before the Iconians figure out what we're up to. Right. Rule seven. Keep your ears open and your eyes on the mark. No time to get sloppy. That's far enough. Well done, Quark. You actually managed to pull it off. I suppose I shouldn't be too surprised. You've a talent for larceny, after all. Time, however, is a factor. Hand it over now, or I'll shoot you both and take it from your cold, dead fingers. You wouldn't. Are you out of your mind? Have you forgotten who Nog and I are related to? No payout is worth what will happen to you if you do this. Ron will have every Eliminator, Bounty Hunter, and Pirate in the Four Quadrants gunning for you. How did Lek put it? Oh, yes. The riskier the road, the greater the profit. Wise words indeed. The payout from this job will provide me with more than enough latinum to remove your idiot brother and take my rightful place as the Grand Nagus. I'm willing to give you a sporting chance, however. Hand over the package. You might be able to flee before that very angry Iconian arrives. This is insane. Have it your way, Brunt. You're dumber than you look. If you think the crew of our ride won't be suspicious when you come back without us. They'll probably throw you in the brig on general principle. I know I would. Ah, but I won't be traveling with them, Quark. I've made other travel arrangements. Time's up. Hand it over, or prepare to meet the blessed exchequer. Ha! I'd pay a lot to witness that audit. Might even be worth dying for, just to hear you scream on your way to the vault of eternal destitution.
Goodbye, Quark. At last, goodbye. Nog, now! Wait. A force field? It will not stop me from any. Look a little closer. That's a chroniton field. You might make it through, but it's definitely gonna hurt. A lot. Or we can talk like sensible, intelligent people. Your call. Very well. Speak. Your crimes are numerous. You breach my security, damage my vessel, kill members of my crew, violated my sanctum, and stolen something very precious to me. Each is punishable by death. Tell me, why shouldn't I purge you like the odious villain you are? Feel me? That's where you're wrong. I don't have anything of yours on me. Run a scan if you don't believe me. If anything, I was trying to stop the lunatic that did steal from you. I may be odious vermin, but I'm not stupid. Look, we should be working together to stop our mutual enemy instead of wasting time with this argument. There will be plenty of time to eliminate each and every one of you filthy creatures. That field of yours will drop eventually, and then you will die. Your cohort will be trapped and ultimately killed. I will have my vengeance on you all soon enough. Good point. You're not entirely wrong. But I think you're going to have a much bigger problem to deal with in the very near future. Any moment now. What do they got cooking? Remember this? A little something we picked up on Karema. Keep it on oh. your ship and beam it to our location when we give you the signal. What's that, Uncle? Call it... An insurance policy. Oh, you might make it through, but it's definitely gonna hurt. A lot. Or we can talk like sensible, intelligent people. Your call. He called the hurt. Oh, that? They're called Herc. Maybe you've heard of them. Real nasty dispositions. Eat everything they come across, and now they've come across your fleet. You Iconians are tough, but you're not invincible. Against the Fakiri and the Herc, those are some pretty long odds to get. Here's how this is going to work. You're going to let us go, and in return... I'll disable the device that's bringing every Herc in the quadrant here to chew on your ship. We'll go our way, you'll go yours. Otherwise, we'll wait and see what happens first. My field drops, or you and your ship become the main course at the Herc Buffet. I <laughs> Oh, my God! Sounds a lot like Odo, oh no, doesn't he? Oh my god. Right. Oh, Quark. And we have a deal. We'll be on our way then. I'll take care of your hurt problem once I've made it to a safe distance. I'd say it's been a pleasure, but we both know that'd be a lie. Work very slippery. Oh no. What a 
are we waiting for? Run! Run! Now they can't turn it off. We're almost there, but we lost the sword. We went through all of this, and for what? Not over yet. Quark to Madron. Is the package secured? Madron here. You'll be happy to know the package is safe and sound. I beamed it to your ship a few minutes ago. I'm afraid Brunt is a little bruised, but these things happen. I'll keep him nice and sedated until we get back to the Alpha Quadrant. Oh, and Quark, no. be sure to let the Nagus know I held up my end of the bargain, won't you? Of course. I'll be sure to let him know, Madron. Quark out. Always have a backup plan, Nog. Especially when dealing with snakes like Brunt. Let's go. And look, the shuttle's right where we left it. Things are looking up for a change. Let's get out of here before Tket changes her mind. <laughs> Thanks for sticking around. Now, if you don't mind, let's get back to DS9. There's a very cranky Iconian who's looking for an excuse to kill us all. Rather not give her one. One more, anyway. Thankfully, she'll be busy dealing with the Herc. Garrick's little toy works like a charm. Agreed. We've got a problem. The cloaking device is acting up. If it goes down, every ship in the system will know we're here. I'll do what I can to keep it running, but we might need to fight our way out of here. Understood, Captain. The cloak's offline! Terrific. This is what I get for buying it from Gala. Don't worry. I'll be running it again. I just need a couple minutes. Found another way back to be as nice. Ships are attacking each other as much as they're attacking us. Just one more minute. Keep us safe. Four shields failing. Rear shields failing. Right shields failing. Target shields have failed. Hull integrity below 75%. We're getting hit hard here! Oh, I didn't notice. the cloak back up way from combat 
Move out of range. Don't want anyone sensing our warp trail. Cloak's online again, and we're at a safe distance from the enemy. We can leave as soon as you're ready. I don't know about the rest of you, but I was ready to go the minute we warped into this system. And I'm doubly ready to go now. Not to tell you your business, but make it so. Please. Oh. Oh. Quark and Nog told me you did a great job keeping them all safe. Thank you for bringing them back in one piece. The sixth rule of acquisition says, never allow family to stand in the way of opportunity. But what can I say? Family means a lot to me. What happened to Brunt? Brunt is ambitious, but predictable. We expected him to betray us, and we capitalized on it. Brunt made life difficult for the Nausicans who worked for Madrin. That was a painful decision. Ask Dr. Bashir about that if you're interested. And Madrin? Brunt made the mistake of dealing with someone more ambitious than he was. Madrin came to me shortly after Brunt made him an offer. And I made Madrin a counter offer he couldn't refuse. I think I just came up with a new rule of acquisition. It's not smart to turn down a deal with the Grand Agus. I'm pretty sure Madrin would agree with that. So, now what? There's something I'm curious about. The Herc stole the Sword of Kalis from the Klingons a long time ago. But no one seems to know why. They didn't eat it, so there must be something about it they value. And we Ferengi are all about value. Perhaps the lab's sensors and equipment can tell us more. Maybe it's made of a rare, precious metal. It's possible. Let's find out. Based on the scans, that carapace was around for quite a long time before Kalos made a weapon out of it. The blade material is over 4,000 years old, where the story of Kalos is roughly only 1,600 years old. Amazing. I'm reading traces of multiple radiation types within the blade. Discounting the type that likely came from the Iconians, there are still clear traces of thermobaric and tetrionic radiation. I believe we could cross-reference Alliance and Dominion star charts and easily determine where these traces of radiation originated from. Now, this is interesting. These readings indicate that the Sword of Kales is made out of biological material with a germanium base. I'll need to run more tests to be certain, but I believe the weapon was fashioned out of a Herc carapace. This may explain their interest in it. Your conclusions? We have a 4,000-year-old weapon made of a Herc carapace. My analysis of the radiation within the blade should allow us to narrow down its point of origin. I've had the computer working on that as we speak. Let's have a look. Cross-referencing all known Alliance and Dominion star charts, and voila! There's one system that contains all of the conditions we've isolated. Havas Kul, at the edge of Dominion space. It's possible we've just discovered the location of the Herc homeworld. We should forward this information to the appropriate parties at once. This could be the breakthrough we've been looking for. Sounds impressive and valuable. Rule 21, Quark. Never place friendship above profit. And here we go again. Unbelievable. I knew Brunt was a snake. But lack? Guess I should have known better. The bigger the smile, the sharper the knife. And lex has got plenty of both. Play this all for free. He's a fool if he thinks he can steal from me. I'll have every eliminator, bounty hunter, and pirate in the four quadrants gunning for him. No one steals from the Grand Nagus and lives to profit from it. Klingons won't be happy. 
they find out. Considering how angry my father is, the Klingons will be the least of Lex's problems. I haven't seen him this mad since he caught me... Well, <laughs> we don't need to get into that. Despite everything that's happened, we'll hold up our end of the bargain. I'll be in touch when everything is prepared. And remember, this operation never happened. I will return to my ship. Think they bought it? Completely. As far as they're concerned, the sword has been stolen. You, uh, might want to lay low for a while, though. Opportunity plus instinct equals profit. Well done, brother. The sword of Kalis, as promised. Once again, the House of Quark delivers. Martok will be pleased. So will I, Grilka, once the payment clears. Pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh wow. The <laughs> oh my god. I realized this was an uh, unconventional mission, and it didn't go exactly as planned. Still, the data we discovered on the Sword of Kalos should be very helpful to the Alliance. We'll need to keep some of the details of the mission classified, of course. So, whatever you do, don't mention it to Morn, or the whole Quadrant will know about it tomorrow. <laughs> Grab leg throwing knives. This report Just on the record. recent Ferengi operation is quite unconventional. Historically, we have thought of the Ferengi as little more than misguided profiteers. They have no sense of discipline, no real military aptitude, and no loyalty. Despite that, a team of Ferengi executed a daring plan and showed courage, ingenuity, and a ferocious drive for victory. I am actually impressed. Many believe that those not of the Dominion are inferior. But if those not of the Dominion can aspire to the qualities that we honor, can we say the same of those within? What does this mean for our ordained roles? Could a Jemadar be more than a soldier? Or a founder less than a god? We may not be ready to consider such notions, but in time, we must grapple with them. Because if the Ferengi can be valorous, then all the qualities that we ascribe to our foes and to our leaders are suspect. Interesting question. All right, and that was... Researchers led by my friend, Dr. Bashir. I have some things for you to... Go with that one. So that was Quark's Lucky Seven. And, uh... Yeah. <laughs> wow. Episodes are getting more and more interesting. We'll have to see what happens in the next one. See you then.